Hello, it's Ali. Welcome to part 17 of my 3D printed 8 scale Toyota Supra. Except the crush we did before. So I was getting a lot of comments about the chassis because you can't print that chassis on a small printer like Ender 3. The build volume is 220 by 220 and this chassis needs more than that. Minimum 350 by 350. So I cut the chassis in 8 pieces so you can 3D print it in a small printer. And I made these small bow ties. You can connect them together and then glue them. The good thing about these small bow ties, it will align these two prints before curing the glue you are using. So the filament I used for this chassis is PAHD by Bamboo Lab. It's a heat resistant filament and it will withstand up to 194 degrees Celsius. So we will see with the engine and it will not affect the chassis. So in today's video, what are we gonna do? We're gonna transfer all that into the new chassis and assemble that. So just like the first assembly of the chassis, we will need a brass insert for the panels. I got that. And we also crushed the front upper arm. So I 3D printed with PAHD, same material that I printed the chassis with. Here's the glue I will be using. It's a two part epoxy. I also 3D printed the steering arm. The one I printed was in PLA and it was flexing. Maybe it was the reason we crushed and in the high speed the steering was a bit wobbly, but this is a hard material, so we will see. I also 3D printed steering servo mount with the same material PAHD. It's a hard material. I did some adjustment with this. The bolt was here and this part was a bit flexible but what I did now the bolt will come through the chassis comes here and then it will bolt with this one so it will be one part with the chassis and there will be no flexing so if you are willing to print this with PAHD same material that I did and not cause any failed print make sure the PAHD completely dry dry it again with the filament dryer and then print it otherwise you will have failed prints just like these i had few failed prints even though i print first one it came out really good and in the second one it was like this here's the first one came out really nice and in the second one it was completely disaster maybe it's because of the humidity and where i live that's so for trying weight moisturized filament like this so we can turn this print like this to this i already ordered filament dryer but gonna take some time till it get here so the trick is I'm gonna be using heater bit for drying this filament. So with the PAHD filament, I'm gonna heat up the bit to 90 degrees Celsius and leave it for 9-10 hours. And also put the cover on it that came with the filament. Just like this. This is an easy trick, but the downside for this, I cannot use the printer while drying this filament. But this is what I'm gonna be doing till my dryers arrives. Alright, I will mix some of this two part glue before putting these bow ties. I will put some glue and then push it in. This video is sponsored by PCBWay. PCBWay offering 3D printing, CNC machining, sheet metal fabrication, and injection molding. So if you are like me and working on custom design and want to 3D print it without having headache and failed print, head over to PCBWay.com. So I send most of the files to PCBWay to be 3D printed from the chassis to glasses, headlights, and also the exhaust to be 3D printed with metal. 
So in the next video, we will get the package with all these 3D printed parts. PCBWay is linked in the video description box below for more information. Thanks to PCBWay for sponsoring this video. So the gluing procedure is very easy. You also have letters. So F1, F2, it means front 1, front 2, front 3, front 4. And it will be one part of the front and also same thing with the rear. And I did another adjustment with the chassis. For the doors, you only had a small arm that you could put magnets on it but I made it like this now it's a slider you can put the doors in or out depending if you have some measurements wrong with the printer so you can adjust the door we're gonna leave it like this a bit so the resin cures and then we will insert these brass nuts the good thing about these bow ties it will squeeze two parts and the excessive material will come out and it will be one part so you don't have any problem with the chassis the chassis not gonna be longer or wider few millimeters because with gluing it's a big problem sometimes you will have one millimeter gap but with these bow ties you always squeeze it to the correct size just like it one part Alright, the steering is done and connected to the servo. Next, we're gonna be working on the sway bar links. Here is the sway bar links for the front and the back. If you don't know what is sway bar, sway bar links it will be connected to the both sides, the front and the back, and it will keep the car balanced in the corners. Like for example, if I move this one up, this one stays here, but if you have this link here, it will push this one up as well and we will see the difference when it will be connected so i did for the front and also for the back and also there will be mounts for the front and the back we had mounts for these pins so we're gonna remove them and put these and with these ones you also have labels this one says rear left so we have for the front as well this is for front and left so we will connect these and then these are the links that will connect the links and also we have the cover the cover don't have any letters so it doesn't matter if you mix them but yeah we're gonna put all these and show you the difference so before we start we have two sway bar links the bigger one is for the front and the small one is for back I didn't put letter on these so just so you know Alright, it's done and we can see it's moving the other side as well but this one is being printed with PETG so it has a bit flexed but if I print it with PAHT by Bamboo Lab it will be way harder 
but I wanted to have a bit flex so yeah that's better now Alright, it's on the wheels now and I can feel it's way lighter because the first chassis I 3D printed with PLA with 0.6mm nozzle and I didn't adjust the servo so it should be a bit lower but even I, if I put the engine it's still not going down it used to be at the bottom like this and I have to adjust the servo then it will come up but with the engine even the servo is at upper position but yeah it feels lighter so for the next video i will be 3d printing these with the same material or better material and stronger than this i'm thinking about something that it has a bit flex and also heat resistant so yeah these are what we're gonna do in the next video so we can make this a bit less because now I have a gap between the ball joint and this because it's 3D printed and I have to give it 0.3 millimeter gap so it doesn't bind up with each other while printing but if I make it metal it will be way better and that plane not gonna stay but if I tweak the printer a bit and make it 0.25 this will be less. But so far it's very good, I'm happy about it, it's way better than without having sway bar link. So I hope you guys are enjoying the project, like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next one, bye for now.